Hi artful friends! Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my Curlos Makara face paint. The face paint that I use for him is the Maron brand Color Cups and Clown White. So that's these little cups right here and then the bigger tubs of the Clown White. These are available through several different websites online so if you just do a search for Maron Color Cups or Maron Clown White you will find this oil-based paint that I use. I mix my own tones of gray from the white and solid black. And for Curlos, I actually make two different colors of gray. One lighter for his actual troll skin, and then one much darker for the areas around his eyes and cheeks. I start off usually by applying my troll skin color from here down on my neck and that's going to kind of frame where I'm gonna put his mask area and I also do my ears because my wig does show a little bit of my ears and I apply this with just my fingertips and I apply it as evenly as I can watching out for any patches or anything like that Now I'm going to get this dark gray off of my fingers so that I can start to apply my white. On my reference picture you can see that his white paint comes down around his brows. So I actually try and follow my brow line and bring it just down the bridge of my nose for the top portion. Then for the lower portion of his face, his white comes from about the center of his eye up and over the bridge of his nose and to the center of the other eye. So that's from here up and over the bridge of the nose and to the center of this eye. While your paint isn't set, if you feel like you've gotten it a little too far into one area or another, it can still wipe off pretty easily with a tissue. I also do my white first because black covers it pretty easily. Mostly you want to like the overall shape that your eyes get during this part. So kind of the shape of what the mask part of your eyes, the eyes part of the skull is going to look like. Brought it a little too close to my eye. To make the parts that come in the side here, under his cheekbones, I'm going to find my cheekbones and I'm just going to follow that line and then go straight down from it. So now I'm going to take my dark gray, my almost black gray, but not my solid black, and I'm going to fill in all of these areas. Once you feel satisfied with how the edges of your gray part look, then you can go on to using the black color cup and line in your eyes, your lips, and your eyebrows.
All right, so once you are done and you are satisfied with how all of this looks, you can go in and seal it. If you are putting eyeliner or fake stitches over the lips, I like to do my stitches with my actual Maron paint, so I like to do them on the same layer as all of this. So I'm going to paint those on again with a thin brush and my black Maron. With most Baron uh, oil-based paints, you can seal it with a talcum-based baby powder, not the cornstarch-based stuff or you're making oil and cornstarch, which makes kind of a cake on your face. So you always want to get the stuff that's the unscented or the normal uh, baby powder scented uh, talcum-based baby powder. And we'll say that in the ingredients on the back. And I just get a little powder proof, little makeup proof of some kind and apply that pretty liberally, especially around the mouth area where you don't want to end up smudging your stitches or anything like that. And I tend to do a touch test to make sure I don't have any sticky spots in my paint after I've sealed. You just kind of pat around. And if nothing feels sticky, then I am sealed. And then I just dust away the extra with either my powder poof or with a brush. Just kind of dust off the extra baby powder everywhere. You might find some unsealed spots when you're doing this too. And it looks like we are sealed everywhere. Now, when you go to wash this stuff off, you will want to have a baby oil and you apply that on top of the Maron and then wash it away with your usual soap or cleanser and that will help loosen up the paint before you take it off so you don't have to scrub so much with the soap. But this is my finished Curlos Macara paint. So I just need my wig and horns and outfit and I'll be ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more great tutorial videos and cosplay videos and vlog content. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Spooky scary skeletons, something on your mind. The spooky scary skeletons happening on